500. 500. Man, I've never had 500 people follow me on anything before. So I'm really stoked on that, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you who stuck around to till all of, through all my videos and all the different stuff we've been doing here on this channel. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click it. Bikes, uh, trucks and guns is pretty much the name of the game here at Ride Review Reload. But yeah, so uh, a lot of things going on lately. That's why I haven't posted. Looking at a different job, a different trucking job. Uh, I like FedEx and stuff, and the contractor's great and everything, nothing personal, just uh, running uh, all night every night gets takes a toll sometimes. Just gonna get something, uh, probably during the day and stuff, maybe go regional, who knows. Not really sure yet, but we'll figure it out. And also, I wanted to uh, do a little review of this Freightliner Cascadia. I've had been in this truck almost a year actually like less than that i think like seven or eight months um yeah but i put a hundred thousand miles on it in that time over a little over hundred six thousand miles or something but i wanted to do a review of this freightliner because i it's been awesome to me has not broke down at all ever literally just put diesel in it put def in it and keep it rolling it's like the mid-size version i did a video when i got it uh, not too long ago, uh, like four months ago or something, but yeah, put a lot of miles on it and it's held up great. Um, this is the middle mid size. So like back here, you do have a, a sleeper, but like, it's not ideal for teams because, uh, you can't really like put your feet anywhere or anything. Like you close the curtains and that's done. So, so this is perfect for like solo stuff. But for teams, you would need like the full size sleeper, obviously. Mechanically, awesome. Smooth, uh, pretty quiet inside the cab. Pulls uh, pretty good weight. At FedEx, it's, the, the stuff's kind of light, but still like pulling doubles or 53s. You can't notice it like straining. And this is also the single axle. So I believe this version is a little bit cheaper. This is a 2024. Um, it's great though, especially for solo stuff, this one. Uh, I just hear really good things about Freightliners in general. I feel like they're like the Honda Civics of trucking, like as far as parts availability and reliability and stuff. So definitely a thumbs up. You can't go wrong. All right, let's probably do for an oil change. I've been staying on top of my maintenance, but uh, yeah, 106,000 miles. And the thing I like about Freightliners that a lot of people don't talk about is just like the simplicity. They're so simple. Like they just do everything you need a truck to do without all the extra stuff. Like uh, you don't have anything that you don't use all the time in here, but it does have like, it has the this automatic steering feature and you can turn the lane departure off, which is pretty standard. But I just like the simplicity of them. Like I used to be a Honda guy. Um, into like civics and the whole honda scene and stuff and the reason the thing that drew me to that was like you could build the build the civics with so like so affordable but you could make them like they would still maintain fuel efficiency and like you could do whatever you wanted it's like they're like legos you know and that's how i feel kind of freightliner like it's just like the simple man's tractor you know you don't need a whole bunch of stuff you just it's a work truck but it's perfect this one's automatic pretty much every truck's automatic now but yeah uh i'll show you the outside of it too you got the uh single axle so yeah the airlines are still like just like i'm unhooking well it's dropping hook here so i'm unhooking all the time not even the freaking grommets are bad never had a single issue with this tractor like i said it pulls stuff great i definitely recommend it and they also look great too but you can tell like how like it's like a sleeper but it's like half see what i mean but yeah looks good runs good uh, like I said, I'm probably going to go regional and stuff. So I'm probably going to be making more videos like out of the truck 
And also, I'm gonna stay with the dirt biking and uh, firearms videos too as well, cause hoping to get some more time off with the new job and stuff. Uh, more time with my daughter and family and everything. Um, so yeah, guys, I appreciate everything. Um, all the comments you guys leave, all the, uh, some of you guys have left me like some advice on some different uh, parts on the bike, like uh, just random stuff, uh, firearm stuff. Like you guys have a lot of, everyone's got some form of knowledge to share and you can always learn something. I enjoy that. I like listening to different uh, perspectives and everything. Uh, that's why I started making videos because I'm always watching YouTube videos, all kinds of videos and stuff. And it's just interesting to see other people's points of view and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, uh, stick around. We'll have some more stuff up here and uh, who knows, I might do a giveaway or something. I'm pretty thankful for having 500 subscribers. Um, so yeah, stick around for future videos and stuff. It's, it's gonna get real. It's gonna, it's gonna be real. We're always posting new content, cool stuff. So if you like this kind of stuff, smash the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching. Till next time, guys.